Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Limbo. So in the last part of the episode, I just rode that crate up here, and now we're just going to move to the right and see what's awaits, what awaits us. And again, this is kind of as much a surprise for me as it is to you, because although I've played through the game once, I don't totally remember, but it looks like one of the things we're going to have to do is deal with this head slug right here. Oh god, he's got me. Alright, I can't remember if I can just make this jump outright. Hmm, unfortunately I cannot, and I drown. So what I've got to do, obviously, is manipulate this box in some way, and it's all starting to come back to me now. So here, we'll catch him on the downswing, move this over a little bit, and then this will provide us with a bit of a platform that I should be able to use to jump over here, and hopefully there's some sunlight on the other side of this so I can get the direction reversed. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Go up here, oh, there's some sunlight right there. How convenient. So that will cause us to change directions, and we'll come back down here. And then we've got a little bit of uh, a ladder puzzle, I suppose you could call it. Let's see, I believe there's something down here to the right. Maybe a switch that raises the water level. So I should go check this out before I do anything too hasty. And of course, I've got to remember that I've oh, got to get this uh, mine slug off of my head, too. Oh, so you can see we hit the sunlight, and then the water level started to rise. So this is going to be a puzzle just for survival, basically. I think I'm trying to get on top of that place on the right side there that you can see. But unfortunately, I'm going in the wrong direction right now, so I can't just do that outright. I've got to run back all the way over here, get some sunlight again, fry the slug, turn me around, and then I think this might be good enough to get me to where I need to go. Let's see, I can climb this ladder. Hmm. Hoping that I didn't forget some kind of... Oh! Maybe I forgot the crate. I might just be waiting here for my own impending death, but let's see. Hmm. Where's the water? Where's the water? There it is. Ah, no, there's some kind of pipe that comes up. Okay, excellent. I thought maybe I'd shot myself in the foot there, but it looks like I'm going to be okay. As I mentioned in the last video, we're in kind of the water section of the game right now. Oh, no! What have I done? <laughs> I got distracted. How foolish of me. Alright, so it's going to take a second to get back to where we were, but not too long, hopefully. I'll just book it. But yeah, as I was saying, we're in the water section of the game right now. Quite a few water puzzles. Uh, the game is kind of broken up into distinct acts like that, but it never express expresses that like you're in a specific section of the game. It never says, like, oh, this is the section with the water. This is the section with the giant scary spider that's going to haunt the dreams for you re the rest of your life. Uh, but it is it kind of thematically broken up into sections like that, which is good because uh, otherwise the game would have just come across as maybe like one long single level of another game. Here it's kind of like there's there's four different levels, four or five different levels. But anyway, I'll digress or I'll, I'll stop digressing because I need to pay attention so I can get onto this pipe. Don't want to make the same mistake I made last time of uh, jumping too early. So we'll wait till this gets a little bit higher and then I'll kind of tried to take the guesswork out of it. I'd forgotten that the slug causes me to walk forward even when I don't want him to. And you can see that after we finish this jump, which I'll do right now, there's these things. So they'll just eat the slug, and I'll be good to go on my merry way. Let's climb up this ladder and see what's up here. Again, as I mentioned, uh, pretty much a fresh playthrough right here. Oh, my legs. Um, the first, time, the first time you play through the game is definitely the most significant because there's all those aha moments when you actually figure out what you're supposed to be doing and that's really the most valuable part of the game or the, the best experience that you're going to get with it. Playing it through for the second time, it feels good because uh, it's kind of like a, a tight experience. You can get through it in a couple of hours. But playing through it that first time is obviously the most important. That's why I hope that if you're watching this Let's Play, you either cannot play the game or uh, you've already played through it once, and for whatever reason, you just want to see me play through it. I'm flattered, really. I like you as much as you like me, I promise. I believe on the last video, I mentioned that we were coming up to one of Limbo's showpieces, and this is what I was referring to. This is where things kind of open up for the first time, and you actually get uh, kind of like an elegant, or mm, what's a better way to put it, like a, like a beautiful display. Obviously, uh, no, bon no bonus points for guessing that Stepping on those lighted letters will actually electrocute us, so we've got to make sure that we do a proper timing, which maybe was not the best way to demonstrate that, by just jumping headfirst into the fluorescent lights. We'll wait for the H to go. 
I think the H is actually the toughest letter to get around because the timing on that is pretty, pretty tight. Let's get on the T here. I can't remember. Maybe I just drop down from the O and I can get on this rope down here. Let's see. Oh, oh, that was that was probably a poor uh, a poor way to go about things. Again, we'll wait for the H and then try this jumping puzzle one more time. I remember this being one of the more difficult parts in the game. Oh, I'm definitely going to get fried. I gotta climb back up, excellent. Climb back up, get on the H, knock over the O, come back, just fall down normally. Oh, again, probably not the best course of action. Gotta start with a running jump there. The first time you see this, there's moments in, uh, in Limbo that are striking in their beauty compared to the rest of the game. Not to say that the game is uh, not beautiful. Ah, oh, god damn it. It is beautiful at pretty much all times. But there are times when it becomes majestic. Uh, like, normally it's just kind of, it's muted in its beauty. But there's times when it goes over the top, and this is one of those times, even though I am kind of ruining it by, you know, dying six or seven hundred times just trying to step on the letter H here. I mean, come on. Um... The other times when that happens is when they play like some kind of bombastic musical number, which only happens, I think, once or twice in the entire game, which makes it all the more special, you know? It's like losing your virginity when you're 55 years old. It just feels better, I imagine. Ah, yeah, so now I can just hit the switch on this electricity box. And then that should turn off the E, and I'll be able to get across now. Turning off the E is pretty much how I get across everything. Do a little bit of Tarzan work there. Thank God I played so much Pitfall when I was a kid. Get on top of this rain gutter. And then we could probably just straight up jump across this Hotel Motel Holiday Inn here. Oh man, I don't feel good about that joke at all. Yep, everything is safe for us. It kind of looks like that L is not solid, but I believe it is. Yes. And then we'll jump down here and promptly commit suicide. Oh man, come on! You're killing me, Smalls! Don't make me go through this again. Again, do a little swing. Across the hotel. This puzzle has proved to be a lot harder than I remember it being. Although, I guess I am being a little bit hypocritical because I said this was one of the hardest puzzles in the game the first time I played it through. Whatever. It's a let's play. It doesn't have to make perfect sense all the time. T. E. L. Okay. Now we gotta go down, but we gotta be careful about going down. And I think I might have fucked myself again. Yes, I did. Hmm. Two questions. What do I have to do? And why am I such an idiot compared to the first time I played through this? The world may never know. I think one of the secrets maybe is that I have to jump on that arrow. So let's do this for the 500th time. Pretty good on the H right now. 7.5 from the Russian judge on the O. Oh, come on, a 4 from the French judge. It's Soleil and Peltier all over again. Oh, there we go. Crisis averted. I'm not supposed to go down there. Imagine that. Don't just drum, jump down the scary cliff. Thought I would have learned something from uh, doing that exact same thing in the Terraria Let's Play. Oh, God, run. So you can see, as we jump on uh, this right here, it's made out of glass, and occasionally that glass will crack. Or not crack, as the case may be. But what we actually need to do is crack the glass here. So if I remember correctly, we got a little bit of a, a ladder climbing puzzle on our hands here. So we're going to push this ladder, use the momentum to get up to the top, jump, and then just crash straight through. Excellent. Then by jumping on these lights, we should be able to hit this rope so we don't fall to our death. And of course, I use we when I'm talking about something that could result in our death. Whereas anything that results in a success is clearly the work of me and me alone. Now we're in a new dark and dank area, and look what's going to greet us. Let's jump past it. Didn't work in the least. So we'll come back here, and there should be some sunlight pretty soon. Uh, there's... Probably about half a dozen of these, uh, you know, alien parasite puzzles in the game, and they actually all work pretty well. In in some ways, oh yeah, that's gonna blow my brains out. In some ways, uh, it's actually easier when you have the alien on your head than when you don't, 
because there's really only one thing that you can do. You'll have the alien on your head and then you'll be like, okay, well I can only move to the left. So the only things I have to worry about are jumping, grabbing, and not having uh, enormous buckets fall on my head. How am I going to avoid those buckets though? Good question. Just keep running. Oh god, turn back! Turn back! Okay, I think I've mastered it. Instead, let's go knock these over before I do anything else. And then run, and then get the alien parasite. That's a good idea. Eliminate the obstacles in your way before you get taken control of by a zerg. Is that the way you pronounce it? I'm talking, of course, about the, the Animorphs books back from when I was in fourth grade. Probably the best books I've ever read. You know, War and Peace, uh, The Brothers Karamazov, and uh, Anim Animorphs number five, where the guy turns into, uh, turns into a wolf. It's a really great series. And thank you to Limbo for inspiring that non sequitur and reminding me of books that I have not read since I was literally nine years old. About as old as maybe our protagonist is right now. What a great segue to go back into the talking about the actual game at hand. So we'll just keep jogging here. Uh, can't really remember what awaits me as we move out into the open again. But I see a crate and something tells me that that is probably going to factor into the puzzle that we have to solve next. Ah, so this is actually the first time we have to deal with these elevators. So you can see as we walk by that we can turn the elevator on or off. I'm going to leave it off for now, just because I don't know what comes next for me. Hey, Steel Membrane. Everyone say hello to Steel Membrane. He's playing Deus Ex Game of the Year Edition. Probably gearing up for the release of um, Human Revolution next week. Please don't everyone add him on, on Steam at once. He'll probably be a little bit offended or a little bit angry. Man, how long is this thing going to stay on my head for? Oh, I remember this part now. we got to get the heck out of here so that we can probably get murdered by the saw. Again, jump the gun a little bit on that. Let's do this jumping puzzle again. We're not supposed to outrun the crate falling. We're actually supposed to use the crate falling to get over the saw. Man, this alien has stuck around with me for a long, long time. Oh, it's the timing's going to be tricky on this one. Jump. Ooh, barely. And I threw in my Air Force Ones. Ah, and finally, this thing gets eaten so I can progress, of course, naturally by going the opposite. Oh, God! I'm gonna have to get that checked out in the morning. That's gonna be alright. Yeah, it's still close, but it made it. Now we're gonna go back, I believe, all the way to the elevator section. Start making our way up instead of down. Things are dark down here. I'm a little bit scared. How do we do that? Ah, we gotta get ourselves a little bit of a little bit of seesaw action going here. Step on it this way. Step on it this way. Go back and step on it this way. And then begin our running jump. I remember this one being a little bit tricky. Ah, that's gonna be alright. No problems whatsoever. And then same thing here, we're gonna have to do a little bit of swinging. Let's pull it back all the way. And then jump on. Alright, we're gonna be alright. Again, those are a lot harder to figure out the first time you play through the game, but having had a little bit of experience, not so bad at all. I consider myself, you know, a pretty good limbo player. Probably in the top 99% in the world. I'm sure there are people worse than me, but I haven't met them. So we'll get on top of this kind of strange little elevator we've got going on. And then, actually, I remember exactly how this puzzle is supposed to go down, but I do think we need a crate from somewhere. Is it from up here? No, it must be from back down here. So let's hit the elevator. Hey. Let's see if there's a crate down here. Yes, there is. Ah, the crate I mentioned. Of course. Hiding it in plain sight, are you, Limbo? Pop this crate onto the conveyor belt so it gets picked up by the elevator. Steel membrane, seriously, man. If you make any more cameo appearances, I'm gonna have to pay you a, a stipend. Stipend? I don't know. Let's grab this crate. Actually, let's make it even easier. Oh, oh, that might not be easier. Let's grab this crate and take it off of the elevator. Oh, oh. Actually, we'll push it off the elevator because otherwise it'll crush us words to live by. 
And then we're going to move the crates to about halfway. You can see the problem here. We need the crate on the right side. But if we try to drag it, then we cause uh, an imbalance here. So what we're actually going to do is cause the elevator to go down and then grab this part of the elevator right here and just hold on. And we're going to use this as a counterbalance so that we can actually push the crate up. So we'll wait for the elevator to the top of the elevator to make his way down. And then we'll just push the crate over. Problem solved. That one's pretty ingenious. It, uh, it took me a little while to solve that the first time through, I'm not going to lie. And I think we'll just pop this here and then some sort of rope elevator will come down after us. Alright, this is getting to be goddamn ridiculous. Now I remember why I turn steam notifications off all the time. Mr. Steel Membrane. And then what was the solution here? I have totally forgotten. Hmm. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's swing on the rope. Cause it to get a little bit of back and forth going here. Donkey Kong Country. Jungle Japes. Then I'll jump off. Hey, I said jump off. Push the lever again so it starts going up. Climb and... Yeah, there we go. Mostly praying for the best there, but I'll take it. And coming pretty close to the end of this video, I'm thinking. I actually did surprise... Oh, God. The height from this jump could murder me. Alright. Did pretty well this video. I'm uh, not going to say I'm impressed with myself, but hey. In this line of work, you've got to take little victories. This is certainly going to involve my, uh, my death right here. Pretty much no chance. Take me! Oh, God. Oh, he's going after the bones. All right, let's try this one more time. I believe i got to hit this one and then wait a few seconds and then hit this one. Hello again, Steel Membrane. Would you like to help me solve the puzzle? No, it doesn't involve cybernetic technology. Step on here and then hopefully... Ah, good enough. So as we run through to the next area here, I think I'm going to call it quits for this video. Been pretty successful apart from that, that time where uh, it took me about a hundred years to get across the hotel signs. Anyway, thank you guys for watching as always. I will see you in the next part of Let's Play Limbo. See you later.